Hi everyone, this is a Screencastify tutorial on some ideas uh, that you can use with the Where Spot Google Slides. Uh, these slides are animated and you control the animation uh, by using the right arrow, by clicking on the right arrow, and uh, that will allow you to control the animation, which is, you know, a door opening or the clock door opening, uh, the wardrobe opening, those types of things for the story. So, uh, if I were using these slides with a student of mine, um, there are a few things that I would do depending on their level. So first, you know, oh, where's Spot? And I would talk about, look at Spot. Uh, what is he doing? Oh, he's looking inside the chest. Um, or you could ask your child, you know, just a simple, what is it? A dog. Um, or if you're just at the, you know, if your child's at the point where they're just ready for modeling, you could say, look, I see a dog. Um, if you've got the look icons at home, you could hold that up, you know, look, a dog, or what is it, a dog, uh, so where's spot? And then if your child um, is ready for some more challenging language, you can use what we call mental state words, which are words like uh, remember, forget, wonder, think, and you could say, oh, I wonder where spot is hiding, you know, where do you think he's hiding? And just get your child to start to think about, oh, where is spot hiding? Um, so like other Google Slides, you want to go into present mode and run through all those wonderful things I just said. All right. So again, depending on the level that your child is at, it could be just a simple, you know, look, a door, or I see a door. Uh, it could be a, what is it? A door, or what do you see? A door. Um, you could ask yes or no questions. Is this a door? And hold up your yes or no icons. Yes or no. Um, you know, you could ask your child if they're ready for some more challenging language, you know, oh, what should we do? And hopefully they would say, you know, like open the door or look for Spot. Um, you could ask, I wonder if Spot is hiding behind the door. Do you think Spot's behind the door? Um, yes or no, okay. What should we do? Let's open it. All right, let's open the door. And then you're going to right click, or click the right arrow, open the door. And again, depending on where your child is at and what they're ready for, um, your response could just be a simply, uh-oh, that's not spot. Um, or it could be a, oh, look, what is it? A bear. Or you could model, I see a bear, or look, a bear. Um, is that spot? Yes or no? Spot hiding behind the door? Yes or no? Ask your child, what, what is it? What do you see? A bear. So who was hiding behind the door? A bear. A bear was hiding behind the door. Hmm, I wonder where spot is. He wasn't behind the door. Let's keep looking. You know, besides the fact that you're looking for spot, and then click uh, that little right arrow again. Oh, and now the door is closed. Click again. Oh, what is it? What do you see? I see a clock. Remember, you could use your icons if you have them. If you don't have icons and you would like icons, just email me, and I will send them to you. I wonder where spot is. Do you think he's hiding inside the clock? I don't know. Let's open it. What should we do? Open. Okay, let's open the clock. Click to open. And again, uh-oh, that's not spot. Or, oh, no, that's not spot. Um, or ask them, is that spot? Was spot hiding behind the clock or in the clock? No. What is it? A snake. Say bye-bye, snake. And then move on to the next slide. Um, I love the piano one because you can ask if piano uh, if, if Spot is hiding under the piano cover. So if your child is working on concepts, this is a great one. Um, so running through the same type of language, um, you know, either labeling something or drawing your child's attention, you know, to what they're seeing on the screen. Uh, yes or no questions. Is that Spot? No. Is spot hiding? Under the piano cover or inside the piano? No. Who was inside the piano or who is inside the piano? Or a hippo and a bird. 
Um, you could even talk about how big the hippo is and how small the bird is. There's our lion friend. There's our monkey. Uh, you know, you can also feel free to expand upon uh, any of the animal's attributes. You know, if you want to talk about, oh, no, it's a monkey. You know, what do monkeys like to eat? Bananas. Where do monkeys live? In the jungle. What do monkeys say? <laughs> you know, you can feel free to add to this. You don't have to just stick to the storyline. Um, you know, so who is hiding inside the wardrobe? A monkey. Bye-bye, monkey. And then I think it's an alligator under the bed. Penguins. Turtle. And the turtle says, try the basket. That's probably one of the best things about this story is that finally we do find Spot hiding inside a basket. And this is great because most of us have uh, baskets or boxes or bins at home that we can put things in. So you can always sort of recreate this type of activity with your child at home where you hide things and then they try to find them. Just like Spot. Is Spot in the basket? Yes, he is! Big celebration. We found Spot. Yay! Um, that's it. I hope that helps. You know, I think the general idea for this slide is to adjust your language based on your child's needs and where they're at. Um, and, you know, if your child isn't ready to use language yet, you can always just kind of encourage them to just look at the screen at the same time you are. You know, look, look at Spot, he's in the basket, and see if your child will then look at the screen or look at Spot, um, and then glance up at, towards you, sort of, you know, as if to say, I'm looking at that too, you know. Um, and sometimes it might be appropriate just for you to model the language and talk about what you see on the screen without expecting your child to respond. Um, if you have any questions about where your child might be at or the, the best way to use the slide with them, just send me an email and we can chat about it. Hope this helps. Bye-bye.